work now as we um, get some changes in our weather. You know, I really haven't had a, a whole lot to do here the last couple of weeks. That's true. I, I've been saying hot and muggy and no rain. <laughs> but uh, we finally actually have to uh, predict a little bit of rainfall in the forecast later on uh, in the week. And we'll talk about that in the seven-day forecast in a few minutes. Right now, though, in Gazin, a beautiful shot. Looking like a, a nice start to the day there in Etowah County, and temperatures on the cooler side there. 63 degrees now, one of the cooler spots around central Alabama. 61, Jasper, 62, and Coleman are the cool spots, and you see numbers in the low 60s, and you also see some numbers in the low 70s. Tuscaloosa, 70, also in Moundville. So we've got drier air moving in, northerly winds, and, and that will correspond to a little bit cooler weather too for this afternoon. Temperatures instead of the low and mid 90s will be in the upper 80s and close to 90 degrees for today. So a little bit of a change in the forecast. The big changes though come, I don't know, everyone wants to know when the rain gets here. And we, we reach a point where we're kind of tired of the rain, and that was during the middle of the month, and now we just want the rain back. And it looks like we're going to get it late this week. Temperatures for tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than today. Add two or three degrees to what you see for today, and that's what you'll have for high temperatures on Tuesday. High pressure and control of the weather for most of the eastern two thirds of the country, all the way from the Midwest all the way into the northeast and down through the Gulf Coast. It looks like we stay dry and some spots very warm. High pressure down to the south will actually bring in some very mild air for folks down in southern Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. Could see in this little swath of purple here. 100 degree temperatures, so much warmer down to our south. About a 10 degree jump from temperatures, what we'll see for today for folks down in the Wiregrass area of uh, southeast Alabama and uh, down closer to the coast, too. So, for us around here, later on this week, by midweek, we see some clouds, more rain chances, isolated showers Wednesday, much better rain chances on Thursday, and it's actually the moisture from the tropical. Uh, little low pressure area down there in the Gulf of Mexico near uh, the Yucatan Peninsula that we'll see move into the deep south by Thursday and Friday and bring us really decent rain chances and 50 to 60 percent rain chances that is much better than what we've seen here the last couple of weeks we'll take it for sure because a couple of more days where no rain and uh, we could be talking about some drought starting to develop around here so the rain well, well timed not as hot today lower humidity too upper 80s and close to 90, and then a little cooler for tomorrow morning. Some spots in the mid to low 60s, and then upper 50s for uh, the coolest spots to our northern viewing area. So mostly sunny today and tomorrow. A stray shower is possible Wednesday, but our best rain chances are on Thursday into Friday. And yes, unfortunately, we've got to talk about rain this weekend, but we desperately need it. That's a good thing. All right.